Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Today we're going to look at Psalm 95. Psalm 95. Follow along with me in your Bible as I read Psalm 95. Oh, come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods, in whose hand are the depths of the earth. The peaks of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for it was he who made it, and his hands form the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you would hear his voice, do not harden your heart as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me. They tried me, though they had seen my work. For forty years I loathed that generation, and said they are people who err in their heart, and they do not know my ways. Therefore I swore in my anger, truly, they shall not enter into my rest. This is a psalm in which the psalmist is praising God for his greatness and calling for a proper response. It starts with this declaration of God's greatness. It begins with this call to worship, and then it calls for the praise of God who is this great king. And he's so great a king that he is king over all creation. He is a a great king and a great creator. He has created all things. There's this great imagery in there of him forming the ocean and of him forming the dry land. That is, all of the earth is his because he created it. And then there's again this call to a great response that is repeated in verse 6. This repeated call to worship. But then it's followed up by this warning. This warning against unbelief. This warning against uh, or this warning against refusing to worship God, this great king, this great creator. Friends, there's a great lesson in here for us. We serve a great God who created and reigns over all the earth, and the most proper response is worship. Come, let us kneel before our maker. What a great refrain in there. So how do we pray in light of this psalm celebrating God's greatness? Well, first, I would encourage you simply praise God for his creation. Let me encourage you, go out of your house today and simply look around at the creation of God and praise him for his creation. And then praise him for his sovereign rule over all creation. As you look around you, everything you can see, he is reigning over. And everything you can't see, he is reigning over. Everything he's created, he is reigning over. So let us praise him for his sovereign rule. And then pray for the lost. Don't let the warning of this psalm go by you. Pray for those who have rejected God, this great creator, this great king. Pray for them and pray for their salvation. And then allow that to lead you to pray for zeal and evangelism. Pray that you, like the psalmist, would be willing to warn people of what happens when they reject this great creator king. So four prayers for today in light of Psalm 95. Praise God for his creation. Praise God for his sovereign rule. Pray for the lost and pray for zeal in evangelism. Let this psalm encourage you today. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.